Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm back from my trip to Japan and of course while I was in Japan I had to buy souvenirs and stuff. So what this video is going to be is my Japan haul. So while I was in Japan I was with a large group of people called the Mississippi Lions All State Band. Uh, we went and competed in an international parade competition and we won first place for the 32nd time in a row. While we were there we also did a lot of sightseeing because the parade only took one day to do. So we went to Hiroshima or Hiroshima. We went to um, Tokyo Disney. We went to a whole bunch of other places and every place that I went I bought some souvenirs. So I literally have just this pile of stuff. I have this bag full of stuff. I'm just gonna start grabbing and showing y'all what I got. So let's hop right in. So the first thing that I see in my pile is this shirt. I got this from Disney. I was honestly pretty disappointed with the, the souvenir range that they had at Tokyo Disney. It's nothing like they have at Disney World here. Um, there's not much. Every store pretty much had the same. So when I saw this shirt, I knew I had to have it because I love all of the older Disney characters and he was perfect. Then the next shirt that I got is actually the one that I'm wearing. This is the only shirt in the entire park that I could find that had Tokyo Disney on it. So I got it, it just has a whole bunch of like pastel characters on it. It has 83 because that's when the park was first opened. So that was really cool. And the next thing I got is this cup. Um, it has Alice in Wonderland characters all over it. I got this from the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. And I just got a little dessert and it came in this cup and I got to keep it. So it has like a little heart. It's pretty small, um, but it's really cute. And it was nice that it came with my dessert. It says Tokyo Disney on the bottom. So the next thing I have next to me is another Disney thing. I got this for my mom. It's a mug. Um, she collects mugs. It says where dreams come true. And it has Disney characters on it. And then on the handle, it says Tokyo Disney Resort. Um, so, yeah. Got my best friend Brandon. These two little keychains, um, so it just has Wendy and Peter Pan. They have like little pins on the back of them, but I think he's just gonna use it as like a keychain in his car. He also loves Donald Duck, so I got him a little Donald Duck pin. Also got my mom and my boyfriend's mom, uh, little Mickey's, hers is somewhere else, but this is just my mom's. And then these did not come from Disney, but they are Disney themed. This is kind of like, I don't know what it's called obviously, because it's written all in Japanese, but it's like, it's the same idea as a Kinder Egg, how it's a chocolate egg and you open it and there's like a pod inside and the pod has a toy, and the toy is Disney themed. And then these, I got these from Eon Mall, I think is how you pronounce it. These are um, like little, candies. It's kind of like high chew, but it's a different texture. And this is a little secret eraser you get. And I've got like six of these myself because I wanted all the little erasers. Um, but I just got one for Brandon. Uh, the next thing I see out of my pie. There's a really big spider on the floor. I don't know if it's alive. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. If it starts moving, I might die. <gasps> so I got some Japanese Pokemon cards. Um, I love Pokemon. I love playing the games. I love collecting the cards. Um, and obviously while I was in Japan, I had to get some like Japanese Pokemon cards. <gasps> oh my god, it is alive! <laughs> killed it with the shoe. <laughs> anyway, after I just got interrupted by the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life, in order to carry all my coins, which is still in here, I got a Totoro little coin purse. You just open it and there's all my yen uh, that I didn't use, which is a lot. So one of the things I got my mom and I is this really cute bracelet. Uh, she has the same one, but I'm pretty sure she's wearing it right now. It's just gold. It has two, it has like this cord with little gold beads and this little um, gold chain it has like an adjustable clasp so I thought that was really cool for us to have matching bracelets so uh, this is the bag that I got for my boyfriend um, yes I got him a swatch backstory behind him wanting a swatch so we were in Hawaii together last year for the Lions band and we went to a swatch store and he wanted one so bad but he just couldn't like bring himself to buy one so I thought that while I was in Japan I might as well get him 
something nice. There's other things in the bag, but I'll show the swatch first. It comes in this package. Uh, you open it. The lady at the swatch store was so nice. She gave me a discount because I was from, I was in the Mississippi Lion fan. So it comes in this hard case. It's all blue and it has this like blue watch face. It's sophisticated and nice. It has the swatch thing on the back. Um, I really liked it. I hope that he will also like it. Um, sorry for the glare. The, uh, the first thing I got him is, it comes in this box. It's a leather key fob. Um, it's real leather and it has like brass hardware. Uh, I also got him a pair of Mickey Mouse boxers because I thought they were super cute. And um, yeah. The next thing I got him is just this little pencil. It has music notes on it. I got this from the bullet train station. It has, it's a lead pencil. He really likes sour candy, so I got him these, which are apparently super sour. I got him some of these. I don't know what they are, but they're apparently also super sour. And then I got him this gum. There's three pieces of gum in this, and two of them are sweet and one is sour. And you don't they don't they all look the same, you don't know which one. So we're gonna I guess play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the pieces of gum and it'll probably be me because I have pretty bad luck. And then I just put in two pieces of these this gum, which is really good. And they're the same. And um, he will be coming over today. So he will be receiving his swatch bag full of goodies. Now huh. Let's get into my giant, really heavy bag of gifts. The first thing I see on top is this little Kadama. This is from Princess Mononoke. It's a Studio Ghibli movie. He's a tree spirit and he means good luck. The next thing I pull out of my bag is this little cat. It has a little bell on it. I got this for my dad and my stepmom because it looks like their cat named Bella. So I thought she would be perfect for them to have. Came this little thing of bubble wrap. The next two things I see are these tins of candy. Uh, they're the exact same candies. Uh, to my knowledge, they were next to each other. These are super, super good, and I, I'm kind of sad because the tin got dented, but these are so good, and I love this tin. It's so cute. And then this is from another Studio Ghibli movie called Grave of the Fireflies, or Grave for the Fireflies. I don't remember which one. It's one of the saddest movies I've ever seen, and when I saw this, I know I had to have it because the little boy had it in the movie. Uh, so the next thing I pull out is also Studio Ghibli related. It is a soot sprite from Spirited Away. When I saw him, I died and had to buy it. it it's kind of funny too, I just realized, having those poofs on your purses and on like wallets and stuff is really popular right now and on your keys. So maybe he'll go on my keys and he'll be like a little poof from this side and a little soot sprite on that side. All right, so I'm not gonna show all these individually, uh, but I got 10 sheet masks from a Korean beauty place. Um, they're all different kinds. There's a snail one, ah. oh, but apparently they're a really good brand. They're pure, this one, whatever that says, pure Rita. This is a pearl one. Um, and my friend recommended them, so I bought a ton. This is also from Princess Mononoke. Um, it is Hakul. He is one of the characters, like, riding deer thing. He's really cool, and he has a pretty, pretty big part in the movie, um, so I saw him and had to have him. He's super cute, and he's pretty small, too. Um, another one of the things that I really wanted, um, it also came in like a little tin, are these candies. They're really cute. They're apparently tea candies, because green tea, if you've never had it, is really bitter. It kind of tastes like grass. So when you drink it, a lot of the times you'll have these candies to like not make it as bitter, I guess. Um, that's how it was explained to me. I don't really know if that's right. I haven't opened them yet. I haven't tried them. Uh, but they're really cute. Then I got two of these little... Uh, I guess little plastic containers. Uh, they had grape candy in them and I hated the candy so I gave them to my friend and I filled them up with a different kind of candy. I got two of them, one for me and one for my mom. To go in that little plastic container that I just showed you, I got some of these candies. Now, I got a lot of these candies. These are the same candies that they used in Spirited Away. It is one of the best movies ever. It's a Studio Ghibli movie. I'm dropping them again. And they gave these candies to the little soot sprites, which is what that keychain was. Ever since I was little, when I first saw that movie, I was like eight, um, I knew that I had to have that candy that they fed them, but I didn't think it was real because it was in a cartoon. Turns out, they are real. So I bought a ton of them. Uh, the next thing that I see is a bigger Kadama of the last one. Here's 
this one, and here's the second one. This one is for my stepmom. Uh, it is her favorite character from Princess Mononoke. Um, so I got her one, his little legs. He's holding a little branch. Next thing I got candy-wise is this. These candies, I don't know what they taste like, but apparently they make whistling noises. They have like, little birds that are like singing on the back. I don't know what that is either, uh, but we will find out in my taste test. <laughs> Took these from the hotel. It is Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo. Uh, these are humongous bottles. I got three of them. There's one actually on the ground right there. <laughs> um, they, my hair has never felt so soft. It's never been so shiny. So I am definitely gonna purchase the full size bottle of these. I got these from the, the Tokyo Bay Hilton um, from Disney and I took some. <laughs> Next thing I got is from the same Korean beauty store that I got those face masks. Uh, they are Bling Bling's uh, Shadow Sticks by Etude House. I got like a copper one and then like a um, just a champagne one. I'm wearing the champagne one on my eyes right now on my eyelids. I really like them. The only thing that I don't like is that they don't last very long. Um, they crease. I've never used this one, uh, but I have used the champagne one obviously since I'm wearing it. Um, I know the champagne one creases after a couple hours, but while it's not creased, it's just very pretty. I got some uh, blah, 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 blueberry candy cigarettes because they are very popular in Japan. I don't know what this is, but I got it. So don't know what this is, but I also got it. Also don't know what this is, uh, but I got it also. Uh, this is the number one acne face wash in Japan. I just got a big bottle of it um, because I have acne sometimes. I got this really cute sushi like notebook from the bullet train station. I know that this is pineapple candy gum because it says it in English on the bottom, even though I'm kind of disappointed because this is all empty and then this is full. So that's how much you get out of this big of a package. So just obviously some more candy. I got these, don't know what they are. Uh, this little guy is super popular. Um, I don't know what it, he is or what is in this package, but apparently it's candy. I have no idea. I got uh, two more of these music pencils. Um, from the bullet train station. Uh, some packages of gum, uh, they were like 10 cents a piece, so I just bought a whole bunch. I have no idea what this is, but it says mini peach on it, and I really like peaches, so they sound like little mints or something, but they were cute. So the last two items that I got are uh, lip products. This is by Tony Moly. Um, this is the Tony Tint Delight. I don't remember what color this is. I think it's something cherry. It's really pretty. Um, it's a stain. So you put it on like a gloss and it completely dries and it just stains your lips. It does wear off after a couple hours so you have to reapply it. But I really like how easy it is to apply. And then of course while I was in Japan I had to get the peel off lip tint. Um, this is a Korean brand. I think it's Sayum. Or I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Uh, it is called the Samuel Wrapping Tent. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I really have no idea. This is PK01, I think is the color. Um, this is gorgeous and it lasts all day. It actually lasts for a couple days, but is a pain in the ass to put on. Because if you put this on incorrectly, it stains for as long as it's gonna last. So, like, if you overdraw your lips a little bit or if you get like, a little smudge right here like I did one time, it's gonna stay and you have to cover it up uh, with like foundation or concealer. But um, if you do put it on correctly, it leaves a beautiful stain. The last thing I bought in Japan um, was this lipstick. It's a Chanel lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It's really subtle and pretty. Uh, here's the packaging. It is uh, Rouge Coco Shine 57 in Adventure. It's just a really pretty pink color. Um, it was right up my alley for color, and I got it at the duty-free place at the airport. Last time that I went on a trip to the Lions Bay, we went to Hawaii, and the last thing I bought was a Chanel blush, so I thought might as well um, continue the tradition, I guess. Uh, so that was my whole Japan haul. Um, I really enjoyed my time staying in Japan. I am so like humbled and honored to be able to go, especially with the fantastic group of people that I got to go with. Not a lot of people can say that they've been to Japan with the Mississippi Lions All-State Band and that they went with their best friends. So I'm so glad that I got to do that. Watch for the vlogs that are coming up. I have a collective kind of Tokyo uh, vlog because it was harder for me to vlog everything. I tried my hardest, but since I was with a group of people, we had tour guides, we had a scheduled schedule of what we had to go do. 
Um, so I wasn't able to do all the vlogging that I wanted to, but I do have a whole vlog devoted to Tokyo Disney, which is what we did on the last day. So I will be editing those and uploading them as I can. This will be the first video of those, like my Japan series to go up. After this one, I will probably have my Tokyo uh, taste test of all the candy that I just showed you. I have no idea what I'm going to be tasting, so <laughs> you'll get my genuine reaction. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!